Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And today we have another video with White Beer, same list as yesterday, which you can find below in the description. And this time is gonna be a mirror. So White Beer versus White Beer. And let's see how it goes. I, I think I haven't, you know, I'm just now learning how to play White Beer really on OPO3. Haven't really played this match yet. So let's see how it goes. Hope you enjoy the game kind of soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the game. In this match, we're going against the white beer mirror. Woo! I actually don't know how to play this mirror. Huh. Let's uh let's go second. Let's go second. We'll keep this hand. We have the nine cast new gate. That's pretty good for us. We have the ace. So going second lets me play both. I think you actually usually want to go first when this in this mirror, by the way. But I'm kind of learning how to play this deck. So I wanna I wanna see how this works. I wanna see how this works here, right? So we can go, like I said, we can go ISO. Get the Josu. Not the best ISO hit, but better than nothing. We can go Nami. And we can get the guard point, right? Because, I mean, the Tony Shopper is going to get punished by the Marco. So, I think I want to go for guard point. And then just pass. Opponent didn't get anything from Nami, by the way. So, the opponent didn't get anything from the Nami. So that is something that we have to watch out for. Um, I'll take this. I probably shouldn't have, need to, shouldn't have taken that life, by the way, because we are playing for this white beer value later. Um, but I kind of was in a tough situation here. So this is one reason why going first might have been better, just because of this uh, Marco here. If we play the shopper block, it's just going to get punished by the by the nap, by the robbing. So I guess let's go like this. Let's just push eight. Take a car out of them as well. I want to be able to kill this Robin later. So I think I'm going to just chill for now. We could technically play the Sanji, but I don't know that I want to because he's just going to get killed by the Robin before he can get to attack. And next turn we'll have six done. So let's see what happens here. So the opponent is playing Robin. They can attack, put two down on the Robin, attack into us, pop one of my units. But then next turn I can kill that Robin very easily. Uh, here we can counter this one. Uh, no blocker, sorry. And we can just go like this. I don't mind letting the first Marco go. I don't think there's a lot of targets here for Marco anyways. So there's not a lot of targets for Marco. Opponent is going to not attack with the Robin. So the punish with not with, with losing that Marco is that now I don't have anything that I can play this turn. Right? Unless I guess I unless I get that second Marco. I kind of like I kind of want to get this Marco, right? Just because I want a blocker. At the same time, I would have preferred to have the uh the thing, right? I would have definitely preferred to have the uh the, the ammo's on the field as well. So we can go six here. Opponent should use a card. I don't think they should take this life. So now... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and play this Marco. It's going to get enabled because we go down to, zero, to two life. We have a ton of cards. They have a ton of cards. And we're chilling. Now, the opponent could technically have an Otama and try to kill the Marco with the Robin. But I think they're going to have a harder time really doing that. We do have the guard points and everything else. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the point where we're going to have a life left for white beer to matter. So I don't think that we actually get to play this white beer. Um, mm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do I want to use my 2k here? Do I want to use my 2k here? Let's go like this. Let's go like this for now. Okay. Because I kind of like if I go like this, right? It's still in a bad position. Opponent could have their opponent can have their ace here and try to kill the marker with the Nami, which is gonna force multiple cards out of my hand. So if they have their ace here, they could also kill it. I guess if they have the ace, they cannot kill with the Robin. Wait, that's it? Okay. 
So they didn't have their ace. Now we can go ahead and play our ace. Still have the one done open for the guard point. Let's play this first guard point. Let's play this first guard point here. Opponent gets Nami and they get to get what? They uh they have another Robin. So the ace is gonna let me kill the Robin, the Robin and the Frankie. So there's no question there. We can first go here. So this is down to 1k. This is down to 4k. So we can go ahead and attack this one. Okay. I want to make sure that the opponent doesn't get their own 9 cost white beard next turn. So I do think I want to push some damage into them, right? At the same time, I do have to be careful that I just don't die. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put the 8. I guess if the opponent has a guard point, they have a guard point, right? So I'll go for 7 and just eat up the 2k of the guard point, whichever one you want. Okay, so it's a 2k. We could play this chopper, because if the opponent has a new gate... I, I like the chopper. I like the chopper. Opponent can have a Bista or a new gate here. It's just going to be Ace. Okay, so I still have the blockers though, right? So this is the benefits of, of developing this chopper, that the opponent cannot really kill this chopper. So this is this goes down to 4. So this goes down to 4. Sure. You can kill the Ace, so that's not a problem. Uh, do I want to have that Ace die? Do I want to have the ace die, or do I just want to have my blockers? Because I guess I can go like this, or I can go shopper. I, I like saving ace. I like saving ace, so I can actually kill their ace in response, right? So we can go like this. We'll trash the ESO. And we'll be okay for next turn. Now, we are going to play this 9 cost new gate, right? And that still leaves me one done open. So we can start by going here. The other option is that we can start going live, <laughs> right? We can start literally going live if we wanted to. If we start going live, we start us using up their cards. I think that actually might be better. Even if we lose the ace next turn, we'll have the white beer after. So I think I want to eat up their cards right now. We'll go like this. Eat up their 2k counter right now. Play this new gate. Attack for 8. We still have the blocker. We have the... Okay, so there goes the guard point. So that's the first guard point. Next turn, we'll have this big new gate attacking. We can actually pop a Marco blocker or any other blockers that they might have because the new game means that if the opponent has their own shoppers or they have like a Fosa blocker, we can actually pop it. We know that the opponent has a Nico Robin in their hand because we saw them picking that up with Nami earlier. Uh, at this point, this is hard because I still have one life, right? And I don't mind taking this one life here since we know we're going to lose in next turn. So taking this one life shouldn't be a big issue. We have two 2k counters and we do have the shot, the, the guard point. So, opponent has to also keep enough down open to be able to survive. Yeah, attack, attacking life was always better last turn, I think. The way that we did it was the correct play, right? That way, opponent is forced to use their resources. Like, they can kill this ace if they so choose to. But I don't know that that's really helping them as much. If they have a second ace, that, that that's that's a different story. We did discard that second ace on our end. But it has three sets, eight cards. We only have five. I don't think I care about that ESO, right? So this, this was a free attack now. Yeah, you have you you'll have to go after that. You have to go after that ace, right? So, if we go ahead and block this, I 
because the market's not doing much for us next turn, right? We, we know we're going to commit lethal. When it goes little ores, which means that they only have three Dawn. They only have three Dawn. Even if they have Radical, so Radical takes them to 10. And double... Radical is 10. Double Guard Point is going to be 16. This guy can get to 20. So this guy can get to 20. Which means that the opponent will have to have another 2k counters. And then we still have two more attacks with Ace and Gnugate. So Radical Beam, Guard Point, Guard Point, 16. And needs to have 18, 20. No, we win. We win. So if we just go 10 on the Gnugate, because this is 20, uh, because this is 20, even if the opponent has Radical Beam, 10, Guard Point, 13, Guard Point, 16, 2k counter is um, 18, another 2k counter is... 20 right look at that they had exactly 20 they had exactly 20 and they had to, what is that double guard point wow <laughs> yeah that was uh that was interesting right ggs yeah ggs wow <laughs> that was a 2020 wow yeah so it was triple guard point instead of the radical beam so triple guard point and then 2k and a bunch of 1k's right but but the way that i was seeing it right the opponent had one two three four five six seven cards when we attack with this new game with 20 power they have they have three don't open right so out of those seven cards radical being is is 10 guard point is 13 guard point is 16 2k counter is 18 2k character is 20 1k counter so when we have to spend six cards even if they have the perfect hand with radical beams and double guard point they still have to spend six cards to defend this attack which we have left them with one card left which is not enough to protect the ace and the wyvern hits that will come right after so yeah that, that I, I just needed to i just need to do that math if the opponent had four done open it would have probably been a little bit more difficult because the opponent could have had technically Ryan Radical being a triple guard point. But I think at that point, I, I can't respect that, right? I, at that point, I have to just go for it. So, GG's. Yeah, you get to see the white mirror here. Um, leave, leave a comment below in your experience whether you think that going first or second in the mirror is better. I think we got lucky that we ended up getting the one of Newgate in the opening hand. So, we were able to kind of save that life and kind of make ourselves be a little bit more beefy and then obviously set up for this big attack to kind of finish up the game. So, yeah, I still don't know this matchup better, best, and I don't know if I need to go first or second, so definitely would appreciate your advice. Hope you enjoyed today's game of White Bee versus White Beer. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.